Hello from Adepto. Today is Friday, August 11th, and this is your AI News Briefing. Firstly, we'll be addressing Europe's AI landscape and its problems. Transitioning over to China's massive order of $5 billion worth of NVIDIA chips. Switching gears to the White House's initiative to offer prize money for hacker-thwarting AI. Following that, we'll discuss the AI deals of the week. I am Adelina Pato, and here are the AI news you need to stay ahead. It's well known that the U.S. is outpacing Europe with more startups, more funding, and a seemingly unassailable lead. But why is this a particularly pressing issue for Europe? You see, Europe's lag in tech has been a long-standing problem, but when it comes to AI, it becomes a much bigger issue. The European Union has stringent rules, and as it stands, not one major American AI model like GPT or Llama complies with the EU's AI Act. So what's Europe's way forward? It's about innovation and compliance. European AI businesses are emerging that align with the EU's rules, but we're still waiting for those standout players to develop. Let me tell you about a couple of contenders. First, there's Aleph Alpha, a German startup working on something that could rival ChatGPT. However, they're still training their model. Then we have Mistral AI based in Paris. They've raised a remarkable $113 million in funding, even though their website is incredibly sparse, with only 31 words. It's an intriguing situation, but a serious one, backed by substantial support. Why does this all matter? The upcoming EU AI Act is set to change the landscape, opening opportunities for European AI companies to make their mark by offering services that comply with data protection rules and enable control over data. This isn't just about playing catch-up. It's a chance for Europe to carve out its unique place in the AI landscape. The ambition is there, The phrase European digital sovereignty is gaining traction. And as the CEO of Aleph Alpha noted, if your competitors have electricity, you don't want to be left with an oil lamp. The stakes are high. The opportunity is real. Europe's AI future is lacking behind and the world is watching. As the situation develops, we'll continue to explore this complex and fascinating story. China's internet giants, Baidu, ByteDance, Tencent, and Alibaba, have ordered $5 billion worth of NVIDIA chips to power their AI ambitions. The orders include 100,000 A800 processors for delivery this year, a weakened version of NVIDIA's A100 GPU. Due to export restrictions, Chinese tech companies are only able to buy A800 professors, which have slower data transfer rates than the A100 GPUs. The A800 chips are vital for the development of large language AI models. There's a buying frenzy as companies stockpile these chips, fearing new restrictions and an overall shortage. The likes of Alibaba and Baidu are using these chips to develop homegrown large language models. The situation highlights China's race to strengthen its tech capabilities and the growing importance of NVIDIA's GPUs in the global AI landscape. The White House is sparking innovation by offering $18.5 million in prize money, for creating AI systems that can quickly identify and fix vulnerabilities in critical software. This competition aims to protect against hacking in essential networks like electric grids and subways. Moreover, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, will put $7 million into funding small businesses that want to compete, collaborating with AI tech giants like Google and Microsoft. This challenge brings together thinkers nationwide to dramatically improve cybersecurity. The initiative, announced at a Las Vegas cybersecurity conference, emphasizes the race between offense and defense in cybersecurity and how AI can keep defense one step ahead. The week in AI was marked by substantial investments and funding that reflected a growing trust in artificial intelligence technologies. CoreWeave, a GPU cloud provider, raised an impressive $2.3 billion in debt, utilizing NVIDIA's H100 GPUs as collateral, emphasizing the strong bond between hardware and cloud capabilities. Neuralink, the brain computing interface startup backed by Elon Musk, also made waves by securing $280 million in Series D funding, indicating a promising future for the intersection of human cognition and machine intelligence. Virtualytics, a data visualization startup, and Wint, a water intelligence startup, both garnered financial backing with $37 million and $35 million raised in their respective Series C funding rounds. Meanwhile, Simon Data, a data marketing startup, raised $54 million in Series D funding led by Macquarie Capital, while Tractian, an AI-powered predictive maintenance startup, 
secured $45 million in a Series B funding round. You can read more on all of these stories at www.adepto.ai. This has been your AI News Briefing. Make sure you check back soon for the latest AI news. The AI News Briefing has been produced by Adepto in cooperation with Wondercraft AI. And as we conclude today's briefing, let's remember, AI will not replace you. A person using AI will.